What if I told you there was a system that generates 1,000 motivated seller leads a month using Google, and that this is the most profitable system to find deals in the world? Well, the system exists and is now accessible to you. And in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to build it. You see, for every $1 you put into it, you'll make $300 back. How is this possible? It was created by a former engineer for the Navy, Andy Kalaji and he's using Google to take over our industry by generating an unheard of amount of leads. These leads cost him just $5 to $15 on average and are highly motivated sellers where up to one in 10 turn into a deal. So he spends as little as $50 to get a deal and his average deal profit is $15,000. That's a 300 times return on your investment. Generating 1,000 leads a month would bring in $1.5 million every single month in revenue. And in this video, I'm gonna go over how beginners and experts alike can build Andy's system in their market to start generating deals as well. So how does it work? The way he is able to generate such a high return using Google is through SEO. And SEO isn't new, but the way Andy does it is taking over our industry and revolutionizing how people think about SEO. SEO stands for search engine optimization. And this just means you're able to build trust with Google so much that they'll put you on top of the search results page. You see, more homeowners are shifting to the internet to sell their house fast, accelerated by the COVID pandemic. So what do they do? They go to Google and they type in a phrase like, sell my house fast and results pop up. And Andy sites pop up everywhere. It's a really unique way to make money over the longer term. And so like, instead of doing the hamster wheel direct marketing kind of stuff, direct on marketing and stuff like that, that you can finally kind of branch into something that even though it's a little bit more technical and it might be outside your comfort zone, it'll make you a lot more money in the long run. SEO normally takes years and thousands of dollars to compete to rank high in just a single market. And usually you generate about 10 to 20 leads every single month for every million people or so. So how did Andy generate a thousand leads? And how did he do it all in just three years? If you think you know about SEO, get ready, because we're about to go deep into the dark trenches of Google's algorithm that only a few brave souls ever venture to. Andy's system has been able to dominate Google across the entire United States. His game-changing system is broken into three parts. The first part is on-page SEO, which makes up about 40% of Andy's entire system. Many think that on-page SEO is just stuffing a page with a bunch of different keywords or writing really high quality content, right? Not exactly. The thing that people tend to miss and recognize is that Google is a bot, is an algorithm. It's not a person and it can't understand quality content. And the key to Google's algorithm is in entities. An entity is a thing or concept that is singular, well-defined, and distinguishable. Keywords are the thing that you and I use when we go to Google to type in and search for something. An entity is like a keyword in its simplest form. Buy, sell, house. And in Googlebot's eyes, our webpage is literally a web of words representing a bunch of different simple concepts. There's this concept like the entity graph, which is basically just this graph of like little nodes Every node is a word and they're all like interconnected, right? So Obama's connected to the White House, White House is connected to Trump, Trump is connected to the right. you know, it's a spider web, yeah. right? And there's two concepts about entities that you really need to understand to master on-page SEO. Entity spread and entity depth. Entity depth is the frequency in which you use entities on your page. The more you write them, the more relevant your page is to the search engine AIs. This is probably what you're already familiar with if you've done any SEO before. Think quantity and stuffing keywords on your page. You typically like to see the keyword density get up to a certain percentage, about 2%. So for every thousand words you write, about 20 or so of them should be the entities around the keyword you want to rank for. Entity spread is how wide of the net you're casting. Are you too focused on one topic or are you keeping your content broad enough to attract all of the users who may not use the specific keyword that you're thinking of? This just means that you should make your content topic based, not keyword based. But like having one page that talks about everything is usually going to rank a lot better than having one page that talks about one individual tiny little piece. So like, what is probate that's 40,000 words long and talks about every intricacy of probate is going to rank a lot better than like, um, who inherits the house after a divorce in the state of North Carolina based right. on the sibling privacy law or something. <laughs> I, I'm, struggl I'm struggling to keep up. I'll be honest with you. I'm trying. I'm trying. How are you doing? This is a lot. Let's recap. So we have this pie chart of Andy's SEO system and 40% of it is for on-page SEO. And to master on-page SEO, you need to understand the concept of an entity and you need to use a balance of entity spread and entity depth when scoping out and writing the content on your page. The next piece is also 40% 
It's a backlink network. We have a network of, of domains that we use to backlink to these sites. Not only do you need to have a page with the right content, but you need other websites to link to your site. The more sites that link to yours, the more your website is deemed as trustworthy and credible. Like if you ask 50 of your friends what the best pizza joint in town was, and they all said the same spot, that place is probably the best pizza in town. It's the same concept. Just replace friends with websites. Backlinks are so important to Google's algorithm. Google's first company name was Backrub. But Andy's strategy, as you may have guessed, isn't just about getting backlinks. He builds a vast network of secondary sites that all lead to his primary motivated seller site. There's thousands of sites, right? But you can't just go buy a thousand domains, call it a backlink network, and start throwing links to your investor site. Too many fake interconnections like this will be flagged by Google as suspicious. And Google can wipe out your network in an instant. Because like, what can happen is like if Google comes through one day and, and wipes out a network, um, that could be really bad, right? Because then like you could lose a lot of the links going to your site. Um, and so, of course, we have to take a lot of precautions. A lot of, we have to do a lot of things to make sure that it doesn't, it doesn't happen. Like our, our livelihood's on the line, right? So the method that Andy uses to build these sites goes directly into the final 20% of his system, time. Um, so if you took your system, let's just say like you were a wizard and you snapped your fingers and it went from nothing to having thousands of domains and pages just built in an instant, but that necessarily wouldn't immediately get you 1,100 leads a month. Yeah, 100%. In the world of SEO, Google trusts websites that have been around longer and are more established. This is called legacy advantage. And this legacy advantage means that the older the site, the higher it will rank. So Andy doesn't just build brand new sites and pages. He purchases ones that already exist. He can put new content on it but it still have this old legacy advantage in Google's eyes. Expired domains would be like a domain that existed and then and then dropped, um, okay. expired effectively, and then you're buying it back and bringing it back to life in some form. So there's also like, there's expired, there's auction, there's deleted, there's, there's different ways you can go. And when he acquires sites, he looks at one key metric to make sure that the site is quality and won't get him banned by Google. Uh, certain DR metrics, if we look at DR as our metric. Um, domain rating. Domain rating, yeah. And a domain rating is the strength of a website's backlink profile. The quantity and quality of backlinks to the site determine this domain rating. A website with a high rating means it is trusted by Google and therefore a safe bet for Andy to acquire for his network. But the domain isn't Andy's main key to dominating Google. We have two very interesting example sites. We have one example site where it's a very old, it's a very, very old domain. The pages are brand new, less three months, or, last three months or so ago but they don't rank as well yet because the pages are new. Versus mm -hmm. we have another site where we kept the age of the, the page and the age of the page is probably like 20 years old. And it was just like that, right to the top, just like that. So it isn't just the domain age that matters, it's the age of the page, the page age. So Andy taps into this used multi-billion dollar industry of view sites. And he finds the ones related to real estate investing that matches age and domain rating criteria. And he acquires a huge number of these sites to build out his backlink network, which accounts for 40% of his whole system. And since these sites already existed before Andy purchased them, he can take advantage of their age, which is a key 20% of his system. And he links this network to his motivated seller sites, which are perfectly crafted with the right depth and spread of entities, which makes up the other 40% of his system. Does this feel like a lot? Well, it is. But the good news is you don't have to do it all yourself. His network powers up his own investor sites, but it can power up yours too. Andy has finally opened up his entire system for you to use. You can go to seomeetsrei.com where you can, for a fee, get Andy to link his massive network to your motivated seller site. This will get your site ranked high fast and you can get access to the highest quality leads in the industry. But Andy has leveraged his system in another genius way. He generates so many leads that he doesn't have the bandwidth nor desire to call them all. That's not the business he wants to be in. Can you imagine trying to call back a thousand leads every single month? So he created propertyleads.com where you can literally go and buy a single SEO lead that he generated in your market. And this is the only service that I know in real estate that gives you the ability to buy SEO leads at this scale. You can literally get access to the highest quality leads in the industry without spending thousands of dollars or years waiting for your investor site to rank. And if you're not ready for that, that's okay. And if you wanna learn more about Andy's system, check out his free Facebook group, SEO Meets REI, where he gives away all the nitty gritty info on how to do this. But there's one more thing. Throughout getting to know Andy, I've discovered one key trait about him that separates him from everyone else in the real estate investing space. It's the way he thinks about investing in a website. 
I see a, a website as an investment and most people do not, right? Because it's like a website in a lot of ways is very similar to rental property, right? It produces income, it produces leads, right? Something you can generate money off of. And like, you can also sell it, you can trade it, you can barter it, you can lease it. Like, it's just like a rental property stuff. You sell a rental property, invest in your site, and then like, you're gonna get leads and you're gonna make more money buy more rental properties. You're gonna be a really happy camper. Okay, my brain hurts, I'm gonna go lie down.